Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a foundation first impressions wear test review and it's not just going to be only about the foundation i've decided to make this like a full-on milani video might as well so i'm going to be testing out the new milani screen queen natural finish foundation it says it has digital blue light filter what does that even mean? Automatically, I think of Scream Queens. I've never seen that show, but I thought for a second this foundation was like named after that, but it's Screen Queen, not Scream. Anyway, I have mine in the shade Soft Vanilla, and this is a luminous natural finish with a light medium coverage, but is buildable and also claims to be long wear. So we're gonna be testing this out today. Um, it's really late in the day today. It is currently 1.19 p.m., so... Not the best wear test, of course, but we will be testing it for at least eight hours, so that's pretty good. Um, gotta be honest, I'm not really doing much today. It's Sunday, and um, I'm probably gonna stay home. We're really gonna put this foundation to the test. And then besides the foundation, I am going to give this a shot because I haven't tried any of these products just yet. This is the collab that Milani did with Salt and Peppa. So cool. I love that this says designed by the first ladies of hip hop. I love that. And in this collection, you get two eyeshadow palettes and two lip kits. So I'm going to be testing out some of these eyeshadows on my eyes. I'm going to use one of these lipsticks and then the rest of my makeup isn't going to be Milani, but I did want to give these eyeshadow palettes a shot because they look so incredibly beautiful. They look like little CDs. This one is called Hot, Cool, and Vicious, and it has a lot of like rosy tones, purples, natural shades. And then this one is called Very Necessary, and it's a little bit more fun, more colorful. You have a pop of blue, some greens. I'm actually gonna be working with both of these today because I really wanna use this delicious copper. I know it's like, wow, a copper. Another natural color, Kathleen, I know, but it swatches in, wow so foiled. All of these shadows are really metallic, glittery, and foiled, so I'm really excited to try it. The only thing is that this one, the very necessary one, doesn't really have any crease shades at all, so I'm gonna be using some of the mattes that are in this palette, but like I said, working from both. I'm gonna prime my eyelids with some concealer, because I don't feel like getting up and grabbing my pillow weights Michael Bites right now. Hashtag latesy. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna throw on the foundation really quick before I finish up the eyes because it's like almost two o'clock. We need to put this foundation on. Really quickly, I'm gonna go in with my Ultra Repair Primer from First Aid Beauty. I just wanna use a primer I know I love. And my skin is actually going through it right now. You can't see it on camera, but I have little bumps all over my face. There's little tiny bumps everywhere. And I was definitely irritated by either a primer I've been recently using or a foundation I've been recently using. I have to figure out what that is so that I don't use it anymore, but. Anyway, hopefully this foundation doesn't emphasize my little bumps on my face. You know the drill, I'm gonna do half my face with a beauty blender and half my face with a brush. This foundation comes with a pump, which is nice. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna do a little pump. Do you 
smell it. That smell. A kind of smelly smell. A smelly smell that smells. Smelly. You know what this smells like? Have you ever eaten a cutie? Like one of those little mandarins? Tangerines? Mandarins. They're mandarins. The little mini mandarins. This smells like mandarins, but not like super strong mandarin, but like what your fingers smell like when you're done peeling a mandarin. Like a very faint scent of mandarin. And not orange, mandarin. That's what that smells like. Leave me a comment down below if any of you agree with me. Okay, so right away I noticed no, I was gonna say that this is matte, but it does have a little bit of a tackiness to it But to me this does have more of a matte finish I know that my primer wasn't super glowy or anything and usually I go in with a very hydrating primer But I noticed this right away when I was blending it out. It is a more matte finish, especially for me I have dry skin. It's not dewy or anything. It's not radiant, but it says it has a luminous natural skin finish Do you think that's a luminous natural skin finish? It's not super matte. It's not like a flat matte but let me zoom you in a little bit so you can see compared to this side of my face i do agree that this has light to medium coverage and it definitely is buildable i added a little bit more right here to give myself a bit more coverage and in my opinion it did build up really nicely i personally feel like i can go in with another layer and it won't look heavy or cakey so it is a matte finish for me but it's not drying i see a little bit of dryness right here around my nose but that's to be expected unless it's a super moisturizing foundation for me this whole area of my face is super irritating irritated with those little bumps. I'm not sure if it's picking up on camera, but this foundation isn't emphasizing the bumps or anything. It looks a little dry on my forehead, just a little bit, but nothing crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to this side with my beauty blender. honestly thought that I was gonna start applying it with the beauty blender and fall in love with this application But to me it looks exactly the same as it does on this side and I kind of feel like I used a little bit more foundation I mean obviously it, it's a sponge, but I don't know I thought it was gonna give me a more luminous finish, but it looks pretty natural I would say this is a natural matte finish I wouldn't call this a luminous natural skin finish just extremely natural looking like it really looks like my skin My skin doesn't look heavy or cakey. I am noticing I, like I said earlier, a little bit of dryness like on my forehead. I'm actually noticing some dryness around my nose. I'm not sure if you can tell, like a little bit right here. I'm very curious to see how that looks at the end of the day. So far so good. The foundation looks really nice and natural and you know, it doesn't feel like tacky. I obviously don't think I need to set this at all actually, but yeah, okay. I'm gonna quickly finish up my eyes and the rest of my makeup and then I'll talk to you in a second.
I obviously think the red lip kit is uh, too extreme for this look. And this might be too brown for this look, but I'm gonna go with this combo. This is the Milani Understatement Lip Liner in Shoop and the Lipstick in Shoop. I love that name, so cute. Okay, so I just finished my makeup and this is what my skin looks like. This is the foundation on my face. I didn't really notice anything out of the ordinary when I was applying my bronzer, blush, and highlight. I think everything looks pretty good. I actually do really, 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 really love this lip combo though. This lipstick smells amazing. This lip liner is really nice. I love a nice deep brown lip, my favorite. And the eyeshadow palettes were pretty good as well. I don't think they're the best Milani palettes that they've ever done. Like the foily ones are a little bit hard to apply with a brush for some reason. I think the best way to apply these metallic shades is with your finger because when you use a brush, it like the brush almost doesn't pick up any eyeshadow I don't know if it's because these are so foiled and so slippy that it's not coming up on the brush But I would recommend using your finger. But yeah, I really like the look I did and as for the foundation I think it looks fine to me so far. I am so white right now. I'm the color of my tank top I need to do something about that. But yeah, I mean so far so good Let me zoom you in a little bit. My skin looks really good so far it looks nice and smooth, and I don't really notice any cakiness. I hope it stays this way because this might be a really nice matte option for me. If I ever want to tone down the dew for any reason, this could be a good option. So we shall see. It is, oh my God, why have I been sitting here that long? It's 2.48. Lord have mercy. Okay, well, I'm gonna wrap up this part of the video. I will check back in in a couple of hours and we'll see how my foundation is looking. BRB. Hello guys. Please disregard the mess behind me. It is currently 4.38 p.m. So it hasn't been that long since I filmed, but I just wanted to give you a quick little update. I'm now on my vlog camera though. It's my Canon G7X. So it probably looks a little bit different than my other camera, but this camera is just easier to like walk around with, of course. So my foundation still looks pretty good. I mean, it hasn't been that long, but everything still looks fine. I thought that my smile lines were gonna look a lot more intense at this point. Like I thought it was gonna dry up here and look really crazy, but I actually don't look that bad at all. I mean, I know it's hard to tell with my vlog camera, but everything still looks really smooth and looks really nice. Also, I have to tone my hair because that pink never left 100%. So I have like blonde and then reddish hair here. I gotta fix my hair. But anyway, so far so good. Things are still looking pretty nice and I will come back later. Oh, also, I changed out my jewelry because I was opening this month's seal bag, the April bag, and it's all about fire and I'm obsessed with it. These paperclip chains are life. I love them. But yeah, just in case you were like, well, well, okay, so it is 10.58 right now, basically 11 p.m. And I've been wearing this foundation for about, well, let's see, I've been wearing it since around three. Anyway, I've been wearing it for over eight hours for sure. And this is what we're working with. I have a few thoughts. First of all, ignore my lip. I actually had to take my lip off. It was holding strong, it was doing amazing. My lip was fierce and fabulous, but it interfered with my TikTok. I was filming part two of my drama in the lunchroom. TikTok and in part one none of my characters had a bold brown lip so I had to take it off I'm sorry guys, but it was a really nice lip combo that held through lunch. I really liked it as for the foundation Let's see So when I gave you guys an update like a couple of hours after I was wearing it. It looked really good I really loved how smooth this foundation made my skin look like that's something I really noticed right away But as it started to wear throughout the day I started to notice little dry patches on certain parts of my face on my nose and on my chin And honestly that might be the combination of this foundation and my dose of colors concealer because my t-zone area Is where I always highlight as well with concealer. So I don't know if it's just that these two products don't layer well, but I noticed a lot of separation on my chin and on my nose. It looks a little heavy in between my brows, but that normally would not bother me. My smile lines are pretty intense now, but I've had foundations that by the eight hour mark, my smile lines look crazy. Mine don't look too bad. I was touching my face a lot today, especially with my wardrobe changes. I was putting a hat on, taking a hat off, putting a hat on. And so some of the foundation came off of my forehead, of course, but honestly, it's still on my face pretty good. And yeah, I'm curious to see how this foundation foundation looks on top of my Smashbox photo finish primerizer because that's such a great 
moisturizing primer that really helps matte foundations. It just hydrates the crap out of my skin. I love it. So I'm curious to see how this looks on top of that. Maybe it'll look a little bit more luminous, but honestly, this is a matte that I can get on board with. But I'm gonna play around with this foundation a little bit more course test it out with other products other primers and then i could probably update you either like on instagram or in a future video but i like it i'm gonna give it 3.5 lightning bolts i don't want to give it four because four is like almost perfect and then five is perfect but i don't want to give it just three so 3.5 3.5 lightning bolts for now my opinion can change in the future but anyway guys i'm gonna take me and my frizzy puffy hair to bed actually i'm going to go watch a show on netflix i don't know what i want to watch yet because i'm already done with Ozark. I couldn't do Tiger King and I don't know what to watch. Leave me your recommendations down below. Um, trust me, I've seen all the classics. If I see somebody come in Breaking Bad or Sons of Anarchy or Dexter or Prison Break or Mad Men, I actually haven't seen Mad Men. <laughs> But don't comment it. Give me a show that people don't really talk about, okay? That's amazing. Knock your socks off. I'd love to know. But anyway, guys, that completes this video. I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye. The only thing is that this one, the very necessary... Necessary. Very necessary, I want to say. I don't know why. Dwight, you ignorant slut. And I have been wearing... Oh, I thought I saw something on my pants. <laughs>